here's Bambi. Oh, oops, there's no Bambi anymore. Before I start this video off, everybody, I want you to know that I am aware indeed that the Diablo now is three tons. I played a little bit with it. I have fought some uh, Dillos. That's not why I'm bleeding so much. I actually fought Dillos. I kind of, you know, gave them a beating. <laughs> Fighting Dillos isn't that hard as you might say. It's just annoying that you, the clones just spawn constantly and you know they're clones and it's just annoying. Because players should act like the AI they're spawning. That's the strategy I would give out as a tip for players. Act like the AI, right? And yeah, anyway. Uh, two Serratos attacked my Stego. They jumped me. I was a little damaged by the Dilos, and I ended up killing both um, Serratos. So, do not attack the Diablo now as two Serratos, as three tons. Three Serratos? Maybe, yes. You can do it. Two Serratos? No. Okay, let's get into the video. What I want to talk in this video about is nesting. Again, I know. What about it? You see the migration zone at the top of my screen over there. Well, as we know, migration zones like change every like 40, 50, 1 hour. I don't even know. I don't count. Why would I? I don't... That's weird, right? But if you know, if you know how often migration zones uh, change, please put it down in the comments, alright? And I'll maybe pin your comment. Who knows? It's like a lottery on this channel. So I was looking at the map of Gateway, right? And there are points on the Gateway map which are literally nobody goes there. Nobody goes there. Nobody interacts with those places. They have there's a little a few lakes, right? I think the most interacted lake is this one over here. But there's also this one and this one over here. Those, I, I've never been to them. I have never had a reason to go to them. And I think they're pointless. Well, what I am about to suggest in this video is that to make them non-pointless. I don't know how. what's the, what's the other word for pointless. Make them non-pointless. I don't know. Judge me. Arrest me, officers. I'm guilty. To make them non-pointless, turn these three lakes into nesting grounds. Put a map designer to actually... What is this guy doing? That... Ah! Okay, that, that was... Uh, we'll just ignore that. We'll ignore that. You didn't see that. I literally have four horns and all of them missed. Uh, we'll just ignore that. It's skill. It's luck, guys. I've ping. That's the only reason. I, I'm actually a good player. I promise. Okay, make those nesting grounds. These three lakes. Put the map designer of the aisle to make nesting grounds. Make them beautiful, nice, think about it, like have, uh, you know, ne uh, sand pits, uh, have the materials to build the nest around the areas. You have water there, the lakes are there. It's just a beautiful thing. And what I propose, and, you know, it just came to me in my mind by reading a comment, by the way. If you, you know, um, I read a comment on my channel left by a person, literally a long essay. I read it all. Yes, I read essay comments. W, I deserve a subscribe for that. And the like, maybe. The idea came to me, right? So make nesting grounds. Those three lakes make nesting grounds. And every, every so two or three migrations, right? Because this migration at the top of my screen keeps changing every hour, I think, or so. More or less, I again, I don't know. It changes. Okay, I'm going there. I'm, I'm getting my diets, all right? Beautiful. In a bit, it's gonna change to somewhere else. Okay, I go there. I get my diets, everything. The third time, it's changing again. I'm going there, blah, blah, blah. The fourth time is gonna change into a nesting migration. So my diet will actually spawn at the nesting grounds. It's gonna push us to go there. More Diablos are gonna be in the area. Because it's nesting, right? It's just gonna give the people, hey guys, remember nesting? It's in the game. Did you forget? Uh, it's actually a thing. You know, and people will remember that. That nesting migration will actually stay a little longer than this migration on my screen. These stay, let's say, one hour or 40 minutes, 50 minutes. I have no idea how much. I think 20 minutes to make it today and then 30 more minutes to chill there. So like 50 minutes. Make the nesting migration sit there for like an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. You know, it's time to build a nest. It's time to make the eggs and it's time to have at least one kid if somebody just joins your egg. It happens. One, it will make players nest again. It is going to make it fun. It's going to be three places on the map and you can actually send dinosaurs to nest 
in like, you know how you go to a job and you have, you know, the night shift, the morning shift and the evening shift. Well, that's what's going to be. While I have my migration right now going there, well, a stego right now will my, my, might actually have a nesting migration, right? Stegos right now are at somewhere at those lakes nesting. Well, when their thingy ends, you know, mine begins and I go there and stuff like it's like it's like rotating. It's e each species is different. That would actually require the, m this migration to actually last as long as the other migration nesting. But yeah, devs can tweak them. I wouldn't mind this one being one hour and the nesting being one hour as, as well. You know, it, it's a play by the words. Devs can figure this out. So it's like night shifts, evening shifts, just like a normal job. Or you could just make it so, again, it's three lakes on the map. This wouldn't require you to make the migration time the same as the nesting one. There's three lakes on the map that have literally the same uh, purpose to nest. And when I get a nesting migration, it sends me to Lake A somewhere over there. Stego is going to send to Lake B somewhere over there. Packies are going to come to with me at, you know, nesting A and so on and so forth. It's going to bring species together. We're going to nest, fight for food, protect our babies. It's going to bring players actually close together. This, what I'm proposing right now, won't make, won't make playing and nesting and add this complicated mechanic to the game to literally, okay, we have to, re we have to redo the whole migration system because I've seen comments that actually like this migration system. And if that's you... That's okay. It's you're you're free to like whatever you like, my friend. I think this is all right. You know, I like it could be better, could be worse, right? Let's be glad it's not worse. Everything can be worse. So basically, let's say this is my third migration zone. I'm going there, whatever. After this, I get my, my, my nesting grounds. I go there. A lot of species go to one lake. Uh, the others go to second lake and the rest go to third lake. It's just nice. Again, this is just for herbivores. If you want to make the, the point about carnivores nesting, you can just make the point. They can literally kill a big Diablo and they pop a nest where they kill the Diablo. And there you go. They have food for the kids. That's just what carnivores do well when it comes to herbivores they actually go to the next thing migration to that lake carnivores like oviraptor for example when oviraptor comes they're gonna actually chill around those areas right oviraptor might actually get the or every carnivore why not every carnivore could get the the nesting migration so they're like oh Oh, the herbivores got the nesting migration. Everybody's going to a nesting site. Let's go there and, you know, one, it will make herbivores protect their kids, carnivores, you know, everything, being a parent, which a lot of people like in this game. Remember in Legacy when you have to protect your kids from everything ever? It was hella fun. I agree. I like it. This will make that happen. It's literally simple. Just change one migration into a nesting migration. That's literally what you have to do. Hey, here's Bambi. Oh, oops, there's no Bambi anymore. <laughs> That's literally what you have to do as developers. Change this, one of them. Every three migrations, you get one nesting migration. That's all you have to do. It's not some redesigning of the whole nesting thing or the whole migration thing. There's no redesigning of whatever, whatever. It is just... One of them is the nesting migration that sends you or your species to one of the three lakes on the map that, again, are not so populated. It will make the area feel more populated. Uh, players will explore more. We'll get to know the map more. It's going to be fun. Oviraptors will go there and steal the eggs. Carnivores will go there to kill babies. Omniraptors, for example. Because, for example, Triceratopses could get the nesting migration over somewhere at the lake. They go there. Sure, a Rex can kill a trike, but Omnis could go there and be like, okay, it's nesting time. They actually smell. The icon on the screen with the footsteps you see right now is not gonna be like that when it's nesting it's it's like it's gonna have footprints and i recommend changing it a bit and at the end of uh, those lines on the left and right you have a nest right on the, each part so it's kind of telling the player look this is a nesting migration you're going to nest there that's the purpose sure you can chill there without nesting you don't have to nest but if you put five diablos in the nesting spot they're gonna nest 
if you're gonna put five stegos in a nesting spot they're gonna nest that's just players that's just being an animal people like to role play they play the aisle to role play that's why we play this game to be a dinosaur to simulate being a dinosaur we love being dinosaurs and what dinosaurs do sometimes they nest the nesting grounds being like three hours apart let's say every migration is one hour it being three hours apart it, you won't catch them every single time you play the game. Thus, they won't get boring. Depends how much you play. A lot of people, when I they, when they play this game, they don't play for like five hours straight. They play for like one, two hours, maybe. Sure, they have families, they have jobs, they have kids to take care of, they have families to take. You get it. They have things to do. People don't really play this game a lot. Maybe one, two hours, maybe three if you push it. It's not going to be always when you encounter nesting migrations, so they're not going to be oversaturated like the migration zones are. And it's going to be a, fr a breath of fresh air if every third migration, there's actually a nesting migration. Finally, I have to go somewhere. I'm going to experience the nesting. I'm going to experience the nesting mechanics I never used in this game. People will have more reason to click the eggs and check the eggs whenever they join a server. Because right now, if I go and click on an egg it, it, nobody's nesting or there's little chance somebody's nesting now when somebody joins the server they're gonna click there oh it might be a nesting migration for something in the game boom there's an egg oh my god you're gonna be a baby you're gonna have parents you're gonna have more fun it's just it's just fun for everybody right for the whole family is going to be, again, oversaturation. These migrations get boring. That's all you do. You go to them, blah, blah, blah. Every third one, boom, there's a nesting migration. Boom, you go there, you do something different. It's new things, new life, new experiences. It's just beautiful. And, you know, again, it's, it's fun. It's fun to nest. A lot of people would like to nest. I read your comments. You say there's no food, there's no time, there's nothing. Now it would be. Because nesting migrations will be actually longer than these migrations. They're, they will last longer. You'll have to protect kids. You'll have to protect your nest. Even if you pop down eggs, let's say nobody takes it. When oviraptor came, you'll have to protect those eggs in case oviraptor comes. Okay, this is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you liked this video. I hope you didn't find it too boring. It's just me walking around the Diablo. I hope you like the Diablo. It's a fun creature. What can I say? It's a cool guy. There's nothing around. Probably the migration is at the beach. I don't want to go there because, uh, you know, it's too far away. Okay. Have a nice one, everybody. Tell me what you think about this uh, idea in the comments. And yeah, have a nice, beautiful day. Subscribe.